since unit upgrades are very cheap in Attila, it's actually worth it to upgrade some units, but uh, only certain units are worth upgrading. Units like this Protectore is a very special unit because it has a terrible charge bonus, but its starting melee defense is very good, its armor is very good, its health is very good, its melee attack isn't bad, its morale is okay. So if you upgrade these Protectores, uh, you're just going to spend 135 more on them. They are still a cheap unit. They cost then about 425 plus 1, uh, that is, they cost 560. And they're going to go up against the Elite Palatina here. And Elite Palatina have, they don't have a lot of armor. They have a good charge bonus, very high melee attack. Their melee defense isn't great. And they have less health than these Protectores Domestici. So what we're going to try here is if upgraded Protectores can defeat the Elite Palatina. So some of these Protectores are going to go into a defensive formation. Uh, like so. Because that increases their attack against infantry and it increases their uh, defensive stats. And the cool thing about Protectores is that they are very heavy melee infantry. So the criteria that I would set for a unit being worth upgrading is that the unit is the unit has a decent amount of weapon damage um the prote protectores have 40 weapon damage so that is okay it has a decent starting melee defense value it has a decent starting armor value and it has a decent starting health value and the reason for that is that the tankier a unit is the more you're going to be able to get out of your upgrades because if you upgrade a very fragile unit it's going to be very easy to for your opponent to take away, uh, t to remove that unit, essentially. So ideally, you want a unit that is resistant to missiles, a unit that has a good defensive ability, a unit that has a high amount of mass, a high amount of um, armor and health. And the Protectores Domestici fit that build perfectly. So let's just see if the Protectores are able to defeat the Elite Palatina, both when charging them, and when going into defensive formation. And as the control group here, we have our Protectores Vanilla. So let's see what happens here. We're going to charge in. Here we go. On the charge, they're not going to do great, of course. But being triple gold will also increase the fatigue resistance significantly on the Protectores Domestici. So they are going to, the, the, the longer this battle goes on, uh, the bigger their advantage is going to get over the Elite Palatina. And you can see they're already starting to turn it around here, while the vanilla units are just not doing too well at all. Hope. The units in wall, they're With also their starting to turn it around. But the vanilla units in wall are not able to defeat the Elite Palatina. The standard units charging were not able to defeat the Elite Palatina. These units are wavering. They are on the verge of breaking. But they are able to bring it back and they're actually able to defeat the Elite Palatina. And the same thing is going to be happening over here. They are eventually, due to their bonus against infantry, they are actually going to be able to, to defeat the uh, Elite Palatina. So, if an opponent underestimates your Protectores and charges straight into them with Palatina level infantry, then the Protectores are actually going to be able to defeat the Palatina. So, the Protectores are still very cheap units. They have a very high amount of armor, they have a very high amount of health. And since they have the protective, uh, the defensive ability that increases their durability and their attack against infantry, putting some upgrades on these units is actually not a bad idea. Both on the charge and defensively, they are going to be able to defeat higher tier units, which I think is pretty cool. Strength and armor.